kind of super quick tutorial on my eye look. I was actually intending on planning a full face tutorial, but honestly it's 35 degrees in London and my aircon hardly works. So I had to just do my face really quickly and then move on to my eye which I have filmed. Interesting. I don't actually love today's look, which is interesting for me. So it's the first time that I'm actually trying a cut crease and I've tried to do it as softly and as subtly as I can because I don't like it when it's like a really harsh line on the crease. Um, I don't mind it. I think like, I don't love it and I don't think it really suits me that much, but I'm glad that I've tried it. And I think if I was to do it again in the future, I would find a way of making it even more subtle and soft which is like something that I might actually like and I might actually wear out and about but it's interesting I'm definitely glad I've tried it but yeah I'm not sure for me that it's like an everyday look so rude yeah I really hope you enjoy the um quick tutorial and please write down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on cut creases I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and if you want to know how to recreate this soft but not soft enough, cut crease, then just keep on watching. It's so hot. It's literally so hot. I was going to do a full face tutorial, but I'm going to have to just do an eye makeup tutorial because I can actually not sit here for that length of time in front of these big lights and make the situation even hotter. So... I'm gonna just fast forward on this face makeup because I'm gonna get this done really quickly. I'm still gonna make time to prime. I will do a full face tutorial soon, but no one is 30 degrees centigrade outside and my aircon is dying on me. <laughs> it's fully dying on me. So now that my face makeup is done and my eyebrows are done, we can get into the eyes. I did that super super quickly because I'm literally melting. Ugh, but this hair dryer is so good. It's gonna be cool, baby. So the good news is I've actually cleaned my brushes, which is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna start off, I love the smell after I've cleaned them. I'm gonna start off with a MAC, a MAC 224. And I'm going to go into an off favourite. I'm going to use the um, Urban Decay Navy 3 palette, which ugh, looks like this. I love this palette. I literally think these tones are so, so cute. Just different shades of like mauve and brown and purple. Um, so I love it. So I'm going to go into the colour Limit, first of all, which is this light pinky one. And I always start with that one, to be honest, because it's a really cute tone. And I'm going to apply this basically kind of in the crease section, but also kind of on the brow bone because I like to just be quite flippant with it, just in small circular motions. I'm going to go in with the shade Nuna, which is this darker brown, and I'm going to build it slowly, but I'm going to go right over the top of that um, light shade that I just put down. I'm going to deepen that up slightly with this smaller brush, so it's just going to basically concentrate the colour a bit more, but I'm going to use that same colour, so going back in with Nuna. Um, I don't want to go any darker than that yet, so I'm just going to try it on this brush and then just keeping this mainly to actually in the crease. So next I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease, which I'm really looking forward to do because yeah, this is literally the first time that I'm doing it. So going in with my JH41 and my NARS concealer, and this is in the shade Vanilla. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of the wand, see how it goes. But yeah, I literally haven't cut my crease before, so I'm excited.
And I'm also not cutting my crease where my actual crease ends on the inner part of the eye so it's one thing I've seen all over Instagram recently and I really like it is cutting the crease a bit further up and I just feel like it makes your eye look so much bigger <laughs> and like fully changes the shape of your eye as well and just makes it look a lot bigger and wider and rounder so that's what I'm gonna try I mean, it's not perfect, but it's my first one, so who cares? Our so I'm just gonna actually go in with the shade Strange. It's a lighter shade in the palette, it's just like a white um, matte shade. And I'm just gonna use a JH32 and I'm just going to put this on top of the concealer just to basically set the concealer and give it like a whiter um, look to it and less of like a creamy concealer look. So I'm also just using this um, shadow to like soften the line here because I don't want such a harsh line. I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it. For this look, I'm actually not going to use four sashes because I feel like it's supposed to be a bit more of like a lighter, um, softer, kind of more natural look. So I'm going to go in with my um, new Rimmel London uh, mascara and this is called Wonderlux Volume and it's just the black one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. So there you have the finished look. I'm not going to say it was a super simple look to create because it was my first cut crease and I didn't find it that simple. I I don't mind it. I'm not sure if I would wear it out. I don't, I don't think I'm actually a fan of cut creases which is why I haven't done it yet and seeing on me now I don't, I just don't love it. I just feel like it looks a bit strange, like I'm not a massive fan of the look. I think that's okay. I think like part of the beauty of makeup and part of why I love makeup is because there are always new techniques and trends that I can try out and some I love and some I don't like so much but I still like to try it out and see how it looks on me and I just don't feel like a cut crease really suits me. <laughs> personally but I'm really glad I've tried it and I'm probably going to retry it at some point in the near future and maybe find a like midway maybe like a half cut crease or find like a midway medium that that I actually like and that I feel flatters my eye shape. Please write in the comment section below what your thoughts are on cut creases and how you do them. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.